हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर ध्रुव सुच्छी आई एम अ न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट वर्किंग विद मेट्रो हॉस्पिटल फरीदाबाद एंड होली फैमिली हॉस्पिटल डेली आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्ट्रोक नाउ अब स्ट्रोक इज एन इलनेस जिसमें हम कॉमनली कॉमन टर्म्स में बोलते हैं पैरालिसिस और वन पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी बिकम्स टोटली पैरालाइज एंड वी आर नॉट एबल टू मूव इट नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी सीवियर डिजीज एंड अ मेडिकल एमरजेंसी सो वेन एवर यू नोटिस एनी बडी लाइक योर रिलेटिव फ्रेंड सडनली डेवलप्स वीकनेस ऑन वन पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी यू शुड इमीजिएटली ब्रिंग द पेशेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल इनिशियली मेनी ईयर्स बैक इट वॉज बिलीव दैट स्ट्रोक के नॉट बी ट्रीटेड दैर इज नो ट्रीटमेंट फॉर पैरालिसिस बट दैट इज नॉट ट्रू टूडे वी हैव बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट्स अवेलेबल एंड बाई गिविंग सम इंजेक्शन विद इन अ फोर एंड हाफ आवर पीरियड यू कैन इवन रिवर्स द सिम्टम्स ऑफ स्ट्रोक कम्प्लीटली वी कैन इवन अप टू सिक्स आवर्स यूज सम कैथेटर्स एंड सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ इंटरवेंशंस टू एज टू प्रिवेंट द पेशेंट फ्रॉम बिकमिंग पैरालिटिक फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ हिज लाइफ सो दैट इज वाई स्ट्रोक हैज़ टू बी रियलाइज इमीजिएटली एंड पेशेंट्स शुड इमीजिएटली रश टू द हॉस्पिटल फॉर दिस देर इज एन इकोनॉमिक कॉर्ड एज फास्ट फास्ट मीन्स एफ फॉर any kind of deviation of the face a for any arm weakness s for any slurring of speech and t is for time which is up to 4 and a half hours so if you ever see anybody in your family your own relatives anybody who is suddenly developing paralysis or one side weakness you should remember these four things and immediately rush him to the closest big hospital now other things are this is for the management of stroke that when a stroke happens what you can do now further why does it happen stroke is generally a condition wherein the blood vessels of the brain can get, become blocked due to a thrombus getting formed or a clot or there may be a rupture of the blood vessel of the brain due to raised blood pressure or any other reason of this the kind of stroke wherein a clot gets formed in the blood vessel or ischemic stroke forms about 80 to 85% of the cases the hemorrhagic strokes are only 15% so most patients will mostly generally have ischemic strokes for the ischemic strokes the common risk factors are diabetes hypertension age more than 60 years of age smoking then patients who are using recreational drugs then dyslipidemias and many other risk factors with hemorrhagic strokes the most common risk factor is hypertension following which if there is uncontrolled hypertension then the blood vessels of the brain can rupture and a hemorrhage can occur in the brain then how do you go about managing your these symptoms so whenever any person above 45 years of age if he has diabetes hypertension or any other risk factor it should should be very particular about the medicines that he should take them regularly should you have yearly checkups so that he can identify the risk factors and you know modify them then there are some completely modifiable risk factors like healthy lifestyle if you are taking smoking then you should quit smoking eat a healthy diet exercise maintaining a good sleep wake pattern these help to retain and control your risk factors as part of the treatment of stroke after the first 4 and a half hours we are able to use alternate medicines so as to reduce or prevent further strokes these include antiplatelets like and uh, ecosprin clopidogrel statins these are helpful in preventing strokes however in the acute emergency when the stroke happens you have to remember about the 4 hour window period wherein you have to immediately rush the patient to the hospital so that we can treat him and give him the medicines which are available today because of the scientific advances and give him maximum benefit of stroke after that generally we have to focus more on the rehab part of the stroke and let me tell you that there was once a time when we believed that strokes may not improve but today most patients will improve over a period of 2 to 3 months so you, there is no reason to be pessimistic and all the reason to be optimistic regarding the treatment of stroke thank you